These two women both married violent men. Cecile's husband died in 2017, but Avelina is still officially married to her abuser because divorce is illegal in the Philippines. He hit me and I had two black eyes. Then he banged my head against the wall until it bled. And he tried to strangle my son while threatening him with a knife. Father, salamat kami sa the Philippines, a strongly Catholic country, and the Vatican are the only two states that ban divorce. On this medical certificate, it's written that I had a three centimeter bruise on my forehead, a real hematoma. But Avelina was unable to escape her husband's violence and was forced to stay with him until 2010 when he left her for another woman. <laughs> Avelina has had to raise her two children alone without any help from her husband. Since he left, my children have been relieved because no one is hurting them. Until I am divorced, I can't be happy or feel free. It's a freedom that many Filipinos are determined to win. This group of pro-divorce activists are taking their campaign to parliament. Their hero is a lawmaker who has made divorce rights his lifelong cause. At 82, Edsel Lagman believes securing divorce rights will be his final political victory. I am retiring by next year and I hope before I retire, this law will be part of the Philippine uh, statute. So this will be a victory for democracy and for the republic.